which institution built the b b p s what is this bharat bill payment system bharat bill payment system which institution built this is it rbi that is the reserve bank of india npci national payment corporation of india nascom or sebi which institution built this the answer here is answer here is sorry npci so the answer here is npc what is this npci basically it is an organization organization by rbi and uh, indian bank association i guess ibi okay these two set up this npci so this npci takes care of uh, it, it build this bharat bill payment system and even the beam and all you know such type of initiatives npci looks into it it was under the payment and settlement act of 2007 under this act rbi built this institution npci okay okay so here you can see bharat bill payment system what for what it is used for example for uh, clearing the emis you know for loan payment and all such things this tool is used bharat bill payment system like how we have phone pay similar way bharat bill payment system initiative of the government this has been used for uh, you know loans payment of loans emis and all and it is built by npci such type of questions are asked even in the previous years so it is relevant from the exam aspect okay the next question which state is the host of krishna veni sangeeta neera janam event okay so by reading this you can understand right it is a telugu name so obviously the answer here is andhra pradesh which state is the host of uh, krishna veni sangeeta neera janam event how is it simple this is too simple but still okay so what is this this was basically a 3 day classical music extravagant okay uh, it was a 3 day classical musical uh, classical music uh, event which was held in vijayawada in andhra pradesh so they can ask this point since andhra pradesh is easy to guess you remember that it was held in vijayawada okay there there was an exhibition and sale of you know you know all this to to promote promote the uh, regional cuisine regional handicrafts handlooms etc okay okay next pm vishwakarma scheme what is this scheme what is this scheme okay first let's see the answer which union ministry is implementing okay implementing okay so here actually the answer here uh, from the pib and all i did i have seen so actually this pm vishwakarma scheme was launched by ministry of msme it was launched it is launched here it is launched by ministry of msme however the implementing agency of implementing ministry for the scheme is three it is msme ministry of skill development and also ministry of finance all these three are implementing this scheme okay so they can, they may not ask you about the implement uh, implementing agency they can ask who launched it okay vishwakarma scheme okay they can ask even what is this scheme what is this scheme basically about so this scheme vishwakarma scheme is to promote the artisan people you know handicrafts all such you know uh, traditional businesses are been promoted with this scheme so what it does is it provides loan for such people suppose if you have a uh, handmade artisan or handmade art crafts you know so all such businesses these people will be given loans but the condition here is they should not avail loan from other schemes suppose you have many other schemes right government is running many schemes for giving loans to people uh, so swamitva etc many schemes so if you are not availing these schemes then these traditional people can get loans under this scheme okay and here people above 18 years and one one person from the family if he is not getting loan from other scheme then such people can take loan under this scheme it is pm vishwakarma scheme okay pm vishwakarma scheme and it is a central sector scheme central sector scheme we have central sector schemes and centrally sponsored schemes right this is a central sector scheme okay and as you have seen it is aimed at promoting and providing skill upgradation training to artisans and craft people 
okay so they can directly ask what is it it is uh, here they try to provide skills to people and also there is there are incentives suppose if these people are using digital transaction if they are doing digital transaction around 1 per uh, transaction or something rupees 1 per transaction is given to these people to incentivize digital transactions okay okay next the term barakuda what is this term it was recently seen in news so such things you know you can guess so if it is better if you learn such things beforehand what is this is it a high speed underwater drone advanced cyber security software eco friendly urban transportation project solar electric boat okay barakuda recently seen in news is a you can think it is some cyber security software but no the answer here is it is a solar electric boat what is it it is a solar electric boat okay please remember it it is a solar electric boat okay let's see the explanation india's fastest solar electric boat was launched in december and it is named as barakuda and it is built by the Na naval solar and electric boats in kochi who built it this company built it in kochi and it is 14 meters long and it has a speed of around 23 kilometers per hour what is the reason you know since you can guess it is a solar thing there zero emission of course there is lot of em emphasis on uh, emissions right so low noise okay and since it is solar it is using renewable energy so these are the advantages of this it was introduced by the mazagon dock limited okay next question the un has declared 2024 as the year of now this is important so as i have mentioned when i was explaining regarding the millets that 2023 was declared as international year of millets okay and this year 2024 is declared as an international year for camelids okay it is not pulses so once even pulses were declared as uh, international which year it is just mention which year it was mentioned as international year of pulses international year of yoga or millets what it is so it is 2024 is declared as year of camelids camelids what are this these are nothing but camels the camels are camelids okay so see here it is declared as international year of camelids and in africa you find right the bactrian camels and all such camels so basically this is for promoting the indigenous people and local communities like in africa you have seen right many images with people uh, uh, traveling in the camels and all next pantoi tagoria what is this is it a bacteria a virus a fungus or none of the above so pantogia tagoria so you can remember tagore ravindranath tagore sir okay tagore whenever tagore comes in your mind this is the name which comes right so this panto pantoya tagoria recently seen in news is a bacteria it is a bacteria So what is this? So Vishwa Bharati University has made a discovery to revolutionize the agricultural practices. This is a new strain of bacteria, and this is capable of boosting the plant growth. So this bacteria is helpful in boosting the plant growth, and it is named in the honor of Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore. So on his on on based on the laureate sir nobel laureate ravindra tagore sir it was named it is a bacteria and vishwa bharati university has made this discovery okay representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity okay 
there is a list okay of intangible cultural heritage intangible is which you cannot touch culture is something which we cannot like touch right so all these intangible we have even like a uh, cultural uh, like we have heritage sites okay we have heritage sites list list of un unesco heritage site list is also there and then this list is talking about the cultural heritage so we have a list to this list in 2023 something was added what is it so garba dance kumbh mela durga puja yoga the answer here is garba dance garba dance is been recently added to this list of intangible cultural heritage you know garba right navratri during navratri it is famous in gujarat so there this garba dance is usually performed by gujaratis even uh, in other states also of course they do but it is famous there garba dance this was added to intangible cultural so you should tell me in the comment section how many items are there in the intangible cultural heritage there is a list sorry this is not the answer however so how many are there in this list uh, yoga is there durga puja is there kumbh mela is there and now garba dance is added so there is there are few other things so you just tell me the number how many are there in the list okay so chief minister of gujarat now garba dance has been officially recognized by unesco who 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 brings out this list it is unesco okay okay it is a traditional dance form next world's largest meditation center is set up in so the world's largest meditation center so you can guess it like it can be bodh gaya ayodhya ujjain or varanasi the answer here is it is varanasi okay world's largest meditation center is set up in varanasi recently okay it is it has a capacity for 20000 devotees so you tell me uh in hyderabad also recently there is a meditation center i won't tell the name so there is a meditation center which is spread in many acres so tell me the name of that meditation center in hyderabad okay next winbex so such military exercises there was a previous year question also they'll ask you regarding the military exercises and all exercises so this winbex it is an exercise between india and malaysia thailand vietnam indonesia you can guess it win right it is vietnam 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 and india winbex it is winbex okay so winbex is between india and vietnamese army it is a military exercise okay so it was conducted in the it was conducted to counter the chinese aggression in the south china sea okay winbex exercise is conducted to counter the chinese aggression okay it is a military exercise it is not a navy or something it is a military exercise between india and vietnam okay the next question the cyclone storm which came in the southwest bay of bengal in december what is the name of it okay what is the name of the cyclone storm forecasted by either indian meteorological department in the south bay of bengal okay in the bay of bengal recently a cyclone hit what is the name of it cyclone amphan cyclone nivar cyclone michiong cyclone vayu if you are reading the news if you are call following the news then the answer is very easy it is cyclone michiong how you tell me which country has given the name for this cyclone so cyclone so names have been given to cyclone okay this is a static part so uh, for example amphan nirvan so names names are given to the cyclone so this name michong for the cyclone is given by which country which country gave the name for the cyclone please tell it okay mission it is a cyclone storm okay it hit even the central andhra coast okay let me tell you the answer the answer is myanmar okay myanmar named it as mission you can guess it right myanmar mission okay next question is regarding the sports who has been named 
2023 ITF World Champion by ITF. What is this ITF? It is the Tennis Federation. Okay. This Tennis Federation named people as World Champion. So everyone will obviously guess it is Novak Djokovic. Okay. He's famous tennis player, right? So Novak Djokovic. Apart from him, even this person is also named as the World Champion by the ITF Sabal, Sabalenka okay mm -hmm. Arna Sabalenka is also been named as the world champion so let's see the explanation Novak Djokovic and Arna Sabalenka have been named the 2023 ITF champion by the International Tennis Federation that is ITF name these two people as champions for 2023 of course Novak Djokovic is famous he got this title for the eighth time eighth ITF world champion award has been given to him and even this person is there please remember him okay, okay. the next question Indian Navy concluded the Prasthan what is this Prasthan okay it concluded Prasthan in which coast it concluded Prasthan in the Mumbai coast. What is this Prasthan? So Prasthan, it is con it is conducted by Indian Navy. It is a two-faced exercise Prasthan by Indian Navy. Prasthan is conducted by which? It is by Indian Navy. It is for addressing the contingencies in oil production and all such things. For that, every year, every six months, Indian Navy conducts this Prasthan. Okay. Next, Chief Minister of Bihar for the ninth time. Since it is for the ninth time, everyone must be knowing the answer for this. It is Nitish Kumar sir, who took the oath as a Chief Minister of Bihar for the ninth time. It is Nitish Kumar sir. Okay, so is it important to read this? Yes, of course, because there was a previous year question. Who is recently elected as the Governor of Tamil Nadu? This question was asked. Okay, and there was also another question. Who is recently elected as a CM of some state? Okay, so such questions are asked. Based on the previous year questions, we can see that such questions are asked. The answer here is Nitish Kumar, sir. Okay. Okay. Current Deputy Chief Minister of Bihar. So, there are two persons who are elected as the Deputy Chief Ministers for Bihar. So, in 20, uh, we have seen... They are election. They were elections. Telangana, okay, Bihar, Chhattisgarh. So for for many states, elections are held. So the new chief ministers, deputy chief ministers, becomes important from the exam perspective. So, okay, especially the south states. Okay, so try to remember the deputy chief ministers. It is Samrat Choudhury and Vijay Kumar Sinha. These two people are deputy chief minister, whereas the chief minister is Nitish Kumar. So, as I told, there were elections for many other states, right? For example, CM of Mizoram, okay? And uh, the chief minister, so chief minister of Rajasthan. Who is the chief minister of Rajasthan? It is Bajan Lal Sharma, okay? And the deputy chief minister, okay? Two persons again, see, Diya Kumari and Prem Chen by Bairwa, okay? These two people are deputy chief minister. Next, coming to the state of Madhya Pradesh. Who is the chief minister? If not the deputy chief minister, at least please remember the chief minister. It is Mohan Yadav. And these two these two people are nominated as a deputy chief minister. Of course, Telangana, you know, right? Even Telangana elections were held. Even we have deputy chief minister and chief minister. Okay, next Chhattisgarh. Okay, Chhattisgarh, chief minister and deputy chief minister. So, please remember all this. So, the question here. Who is the new chief minister of Rajasthan? Just now I have said that it is Bajan Lal Sharma. Bajan Lal Sharma has been elected as the new chief minister of Rajasthan. Okay, next. The Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence Summit held in 2023. So, Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence. So, Artificial Intelligence is becoming very important these days and a global summit is held. And such summits are usually held in the capital city that is New Delhi. So, 
don't forward or backward uh, i mean don't go back in the video and just tell me just now we have seen few other summits which were held in new delhi two other summits okay just tell me what were there it was asean as with with asean there was one summit and there was also with respect to some come 27th summit okay i just told so you should remember try to li uh, listen actively then you can answer these questions okay so in new delhi two other summits which we have just now seen in this video only answer them okay answer here is new delhi okay next small small appointments just uh, we will look into these appointments okay these there is nothing to explain you just have to remember them so i can just tell you that uh, civsf all these are security forces in india okay central industrial security force are these people usually uh, for any type of uh, um, uh, you know these people are uh, for protecting uh, um, buildings okay parliament etc for such for uh, there these pe these people are deployed okay central industrial security force okay who has been appointed as a chief cisf chief who is been appointed as a cisf chief it is neena singh Nina Singh has been appointed as the CISF chief. Please remember them. Okay. Okay. So the next question. CRPF. You know who these people are CRPF. So in the security force we have many. We have uh, many categories. CRPF. CISF. these people are mostly these people internal security for example uh, during elections and all these people are deployed crs crpf okay crpf now director general of crpf recently appointed director general of crpf who is it it is anish dayal singh anish dayal singh okay crpf okay try to remember it using some trick anish dayal singh crpf okay just remember that anish elections something like that and is that was better crpf neena singh she is with cisf okay next itbp what is this now itbp so for guarding our borders for guarding indian borders and all we have various security forces right so for india and china border we have lac and we have normal india china border to so the rest of the part lac is here right so for lac it is the indian army which controls which checks the security thing and the rest of the india china border is guarded by itbp okay for example nepal border bhutan border okay for different different borders we have different different security person okay for pakistan border we have bsf border security force even for bangladesh border we have bsf for nepal and bhutan it is ssb okay so similarly for india china it is india tibetan border force itbp so who is the new director general of itbp it is rahul rahul in china just remember like that okay rahul rasgotra okay okay next which day we do we celebrate veer bal divas so as i told these dates are important few important dates not all Okay, it is December twenty sixth. December twenty sixth is celebrated as Veer Bal Divas. December twenty sixth, in the honor of two young Sikh princes, Baba Zarovar Singh and Fateh Singh. Okay. Okay. So, for your reference, I have given all the important days in the month of. December. So you can just go through them from the five. Okay. Okay. Important ones we will look through MCQs. For example, National Consumer Day, which day is celebrated as the National Consumer Day? It is December twenty fourth. So okay, let's let's just do a quick recap. We have seen twenty fourth December, twenty five December, twenty six December. Okay. Twenty four December is National Consumer Day. Twenty fifth December was National Good Governance Day, and twenty sixth day was Veer Veer Divas. Okay, Veer Bal Divas. Okay, twenty sixth is Veer Bal Divas. 
okay till now we have seen all these three important things. good governance was birth and very serious of atal bihari watch and now national consumer day why it is celebrated so we have a national consumers act okay consumer protection act sorry we have a consumer protection act of 1986 so this act protects the consumers from unfair trade practices and all such things this act protects the consumers so on the anniversary of this act we celebrate the national consumer day okay it is on 24th december next kisan divas okay this is an also important on actually tell me when is the kisan divas celebrated next we'll come across it but you tell in the comment section when is the kisan divas celebrated okay so it is associated with which person indira gandhi atal bihari vajpay Ch choudhary charan singh and rajiv gandhi so the answer here is choudhary charan singh is associated with the kisan divas why because on his anniversary we celebrate the kisan divas which is nothing but the which is in date in december okay we'll come across it in the next slide okay now tell me we have studied this person why have we seen him in news because he have given he has been given an award okay please tell me in 2024 charan singh has been given which award most important apart from charan singh many others were also given okay it is the highest award in india highest award in india so i have given this major hint so now you can easily guess so on his birth anniversary now he is since he is in news he is also been given an award posthumously so since he is in news you should remember this day that is his birthday that is december 23rd i have asked you here right it is december 23rd so on december 23rd on the birth anniversary of charan singh we celebrate kisan divas okay kisan divas so since he is in news this becomes important see we have not seen all whatever days but we have seen important days since he is in news this becomes important okay kisan divas is typically celebrated on in india on 23 december the answer is 23 december okay so it is the birth anniversary of choudhary charan singh okay next national mathematics day so we all know that ramanujan sir he is an important person who is associated with maths right in india okay aryabhatta albert einstein isaac newton all these people are, of course are also important but legendary mathematician ramanujan sir on his honor we celebrate the national mathematics day okay we celebrate the national mathematics day on 22nd december so we have seen 22nd 23rd 24 25 and 26 26 was veer bal divas 25 was good governance atal bihari vajpayee sirs 24th what is it okay you should tell me 24th and 23rd just now we are seeing like so you can revise all these things okay okay so 22nd is national mathematics day okay now ramanujan sir on his honor every year not every year usually this ramanujan awards are given what are these ramanujan awards in the honor of this person ramanujan sir ramanujan awards are given to people who have done well in the field of mathematics okay the so, sastra ramanujan awards were given in 2022 and also in 2023 these awards were given for whom they are given so these two persons are the recipient of this awards in 2022 and 2023 respectively so in 2023 it is given to um, sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong yung king tang and in 2023 it is given to zhang okay please remember that so the ramanujan awards have been given to these two persons so now we have come okay to almost end so let's look into small small current affairs okay, okay. small events okay what is summer okay 
ഇന്ത്യൻ എയർഫോഴ്സ് ഇന്ത്യൻ എയർഫോഴ്സ് ഇന്ത്യൻ എയർഫോഴ്സ് ഹാസ് സക്സസ്ഫുലി ടെസ്റ്റഡ് സമർ നൗ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ഇഫ് യു നോ ദ ഫുൾ ഫോം ഓഫ് ദിസ് യു കൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ സർഫേസ് ടു എയർ മിസൈൽ ഓക്കെ ദി കൻ ആസ് യു വാട്ട് ഇസ് സമർ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് സർഫേസ് ടു എയർ മിസൈൽ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് എയർ ടു എയർ മിസൈൽ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് is it air to surface missile so there are various categories of missiles right so this summer is a surface to air missile okay remember it as surface to air missile and it is done by indian air force okay that's it regarding this okay next world's most beautiful airport okay which airport has been given this tag world's most beautiful airport they can give you rajiv gandhi airport shamshabad that is uh, hyderabad airport okay and then bangalore airport so the answer here is it is the bangalore's kempe gowda international airport terminal 2 this has been given the most beautiful airport tag by unesco so unesco has given the most beautiful airport tag to bangalore's airport kempe gowda airport okay okay next so next man of the year 2023 award okay 2023 man of the year award to whom it is given it is given to lp hemant shrinivasulu mr lp hemant k shrinivasulu it is one person okay he has given he has been given the prestigious man of the year award who is he he is the director of latin america and caribbean trade council okay so we have a uh, trade councils right for this trade council for different trade councils are there for the latin american and caribbean trade council this person is the director and he has been given the man of the year award for 2023 because of his outstanding contribution to obviously trade diplomacy and global relation for the for this this person has been given the award okay the next next important small event is the sahitya academy awards so since awards are very much important for the example let's look into the sahitya academy awards till now we have covered what all awards we have seen the sports awards national sports awards and in the previous lecture we have seen the bharat ratna awards we have even seen the uh, padma awards okay so awards pakka you can expect a question so that's why we are covering them okay now coming to the sahitya academy awards what are these awards basically they are the literary awards literary honor okay it is a literary honor that is given to the persons in the field of literary okay it is the second award highest award in the literary field after the gnanpeet award so in the literary honor gnanpeet award is the highest one and second comes the sahitya academy awards okay so these awards are given in 24 uh, for 24 languages if you have done any uh, literary work in any of the 24 languages what are these 24 languages we have the 22 to 8 schedule languages right so in the schedule 8 of our constitution we have 22 languages okay apart from those 22 languages english and rajasthan are included so english and rajasthan are not in its 22 list so these 22 plus english and rajasthani if in these languages if any person has done nice work then he will be given the sahitya academy award okay this is the static regarding the sahitya academy award so this award was started in the year 1954 so for any awards we will be seeing the static right static part of it so for sahitya academy award what have we and see we have seen that it is the second award after the gnanpeet award gnanpeet is the first and first one and next second is the sahitya academy awards and then it is given to 24 languages 22 eighth schedule language and then english and rajasthani was started in the year 1954 and cash prize is given okay and uh, what is the criteria for this it is usually given only to indian national people okay if you have the indian nationality only then it is given okay so these are the static regarding this so now coming to the current affairs so in 2023 who have been given this award so there are many people who have been given this award so we have not uh, we can't remember all of them right so as usual important ones from telugu states we will remember so now t patta bi satyam please remember him 
ಪಟ್ಟಿ ಪಟ್ಟಾಭಿ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ದ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಪೋಯಟ್ರಿ ನೈನ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಾವೆಲ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಾವೆಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರೀಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ ಆಫ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ತೆಲುಗು ವಿಚ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ತೆಲುಗು ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇನ್ ತೆಲುಗು ಸೊ ಐ ಹ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಿಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ತೆಲುಗು ಟಿ ಪತ್ತಾಭಿ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಟಾಟೋರಿಯಸ್ ತೆಲುಗು ರಾಮೇಶ್ವರಂ ಕಾಕುಲು ಮರಿಕೊನ್ನಿ ಕತಲು ದ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಕುಲು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮರಿಕನ್ನಿ ಕೊತ್ತಳು ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ದ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಈವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಜ ಡಿಸೆಂಬರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ನದರ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಟೆನ್ ಈವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಜನರೇಟೆಡ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನೆಟ್ ಯೂಸರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಅಮಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಟೆನ್ ವೇರ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಟೆನ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಚಂದ್ರಯಾನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಚಂದ್ರಯಾನ್ ತ್ರೀ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಜನರೇಟೆಡ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ನೆಟ್ ಯೂಸರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ so these are the other things not that much important okay and what was trending in this year it was g20 of course india hosted the g20 g20 is very de- important we will cover it in detail however just remember that 2023 g20 hosted by india and in uh, there was a delhi joint declaration african union was added and there was also a proposal for imec that is india middle east economic corridor okay so these are the important things okay okay then we have come to the end so before going so these are few of the questions from our test series so as you have seen i have mentioned that uh, there were previous year questions from this theme so mostly we have done previous year analysis before providing the questions okay so please check the description box for uh, more details regarding the test series and stay connected with us So this is our social media please join and please subscribe to our channel so stay tuned for more such videos